just mention this at the top because it's you know, the biggest news in the country today. Uh, begin with this video that I, I, I think we were all shocked to see when we woke up in the morning. Um, a cargo ship slamming into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, causing uh, the bridge to collapse. And if you haven't seen it, here's the video of, of that incident. Yeah, I used to drive across that bridge all the time when I lived in Maryland, so it's just crazy to think that it no longer exists. And uh, so here's what we know uh, about this so far. By the time you listen to this, we, we may know a lot more, so this may be a moot point. But right now it appears that uh, a massive cargo ship from Singapore hit a support beam of that bridge around 1.30 in the morning. And there were a number of cars on the bridge at the time. Uh, I've, I've read 20 to 30 cars, maybe. Uh, there were also construction workers on the bridge. And uh, many are still missing, as you can imagine. The latest that I read said the ship lost propulsion. It lost power shortly before it collided with the uh, support beam. And the crew apparently notified the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of the ship. And um, now, of course, when you... When you watch the video, and there, there are several videos out there of this of the of the, of the actual crash, and it it looks like the ship veers right into the support beam. Um, and so naturally, anyone who sees that, the first thing you think is, was it intentional? We're being told at this point that it was not that it was not terrorism. Um, I don't know. You know, within hours they said, I don't know how they could know that so quickly, but that's what we're being told. Uh, I do find that denial, the denial that this was intentional or terrorism, I find it slightly more believable just given the time the time when this happened. You know, yes, it's devastating any time of day, obviously, but 1.30 in the morning is the least devastating time for this to happen. If this had happened at 6 p.m. or something, I mean, my God, that's rush hour, you know, beltway rush hour, uh, and you're talking about many, many hundreds of lives lost. So it doesn't seem like you'd plan a terrorist attack for 1.30 a.m. At the same time, though, you know, this is a bizarre accident, to say the least, um, if that's what it really was. Uh, the ship hit the perfect spot, I guess, to take the whole bridge down or to take a large portion of it down. So, you know, what actually happened? How did the ship lose power? Why did it veer? We don't know right now. What we do know is the devastation will go beyond the immediate carnage of the crash. I mean, this is going to be a disaster for the entire city. I mean, I, this, that bridge had like 30,000 cars go across it every day. Uh, so the, the ripple effects here are enormous for commerce in the city and for everything else. $20 barely gets you anything these days. You can't get a burger and fries for less than that. Uh, what about at the gas pump? You can get maybe a quarter tank of gas, but do you know what 20 bucks will get you? From the cell phone company I use, Pure Talk, you can get unlimited talk, text, and plenty of 5G data for just 20 bucks a month. Pure Talk gives you the same quality of service as your current cell phone provider, but for half the cost, the average family saves almost $1,000 a year, all with no contracts and no activation fees. You can switch to Pure Talk and keep the phone and phone number you currently use, or you can take advantage of their great deals on the latest iPhones and Androids. Making the switch is incredibly easy. Their U.S. customer service team can help you join Pure Talk in as little as 10 minutes. Choose to spend your hard-earned money with a wireless company that shares your values, supports our military and veterans, creates American jobs, and refuses to advertise on fake news networks. Stop spending ridiculous amounts on your phone plan. Go to puretalk.com slash Walsh. Right now, my listeners can get an additional 50% off their first month. That's puretalk.com slash Walsh. In the meantime, it's hard not to notice that this is yet another transportation-related disaster. And you add this to the train derailments, you know, you add this to the supply chain crisis. You remember the ships you know, clogged, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, it's at a standstill in the ports, uh, airplanes falling apart in the sky, now ships crashing into bridges. Again, I'm not assigning any blame for this latest incident because we don't have enough information for that at this moment, as far as I know. But the overall picture is, uh, is pretty bleak. And we'll find out more. Um, but there is, and, and, and when we look at all these things together, and by the way, I, I said this on Twitter this morning, and of course I had all kinds of people that were responding and, and say, oh, come on, this is, you, you, you're, you're, 
exaggerating. There have always been train derailments. There have always been airplane accidents. There have always been, sh- someone told me, there have always been ships running into bridges. I, I, yes, I get, I'm, of course, this isn't the first time that's happened, but that's not, to say it, it always happens, I think is a bit of an exaggeration. I've never seen anything like this before. A bridge that enormous being taken down by a ship. I, I, I can't remember the last time we've seen that. But yes, all these individual sorts of things, bridges falling apart, accidents at sea, accidents in the air, train derailments, supply chain issues, uh, congestion at ports, like all these things individually have happened. None of that is unprecedented. But I also don't think you're crazy if you notice all of these things happening a lot and in close succession. And I think there are many different avenues we can explore to explain that, but one of them is certainly the competency crisis. We are becoming a rapidly less competent, um, not just less competent country, but less competent world. And does that factor in to what happened uh, this morning? We'll find out, but that is certainly, that's at least the context in which this has occurred. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.